In this tutorial, we'll show you how to create a surface plot from scalar data. Well, suppose you have some scalar data that you measured at arbitrary locations in the XY plane, so that for every XY point, you have an associated Z value. Ideally, you'd store this data as a 2D wave that has three columns. But in this example, we'll start with the more, more common case we have three 1D wave containing the uh, X, Y, and Z data. So to start, we go to Data Menu and we choose Data Browser so that we can see the data that we have. We have here three waves, X wave, Y wave, and Z wave. Each one of them has 33 rows. And we'll combine them using the command line. And the command is concatenate X wave Y wave, Z wave into triplet. We can look at the data browser here and we see the triplet wave has indeed 33 rows by three columns, so that's our 2D wave. To create a scatter plot from this data, you can go to Windows menu, New, 3D plot, and choose scatter. But I'll show you an easier way. Right here in the data browser, you can right click on the icon and choose Gizmo Plot. Boom, you got your scatter plot with a sphere for every data point. Okay, so at this point, uh, I don't like the black colored spheres and the default is kind of large, so I'm going to double click on the scatter zero dialog, come here to the sphere size, change it to 0.5 and change the color to blue, say. And I choose OK, and my plot now displays this data as scatter. Now, if we want to get a surface displayed out of this, we need to somehow uh, triangulate the XY point so that we have a unique triangulation, and then create the facets in between them. Uh, there is a very efficient way of doing that. It also works very, very well, and it's under the image interpolate operation. Now, before we actually use the image interpolate operation, let's examine what happens here. We see that in both the x and the y directions, the data range between minus 3 and 3, roughly. Okay? So going to the command line, I'll invoke the image interpolate operation. I'll use the slash s flag, and now I'll use the minus 3 to 3 range, where the 0 0.01 is the resolution that I'm using, that's the resolution step, and again minus 3 to 3 range in the y direction also. And I'm going to call the uh, Voronoi method of interpolation and pass it triplet wave as the source wave. It takes uh, a few seconds to execute this, but now that we have a um, now that we have m underscore interpolated image as the result of the interpolation. If you examine the image here in the data browser, you will notice that there is a uh, region of white values around the interpolated uh, image. Uh, the reason for that is that the interpolation method creates first the convex domain that bounds all the data. Outside this convex domain, the interpolation is not valid, so the results for the range that we ask for, the minus 3 to 3, is going to be a NaN value or not a number basically saying that the interpolation result is not valid outside that convex domain. Okay, now let's go ahead and just append this image or this surface to Gizmo. This is a 2D wave now at 600 points by 600 points, and I'm going to right-click on its icon and choose Append to Gizmo. And what we got here is a surface that goes through the scatter points that we had earlier. So this way uh, we have a uh, surface corresponding to 
the scatter point which was obtained through triangulation and interpolation and it is only valid inside the convex domain that's defined by the data. This concludes this tutorial.